Hello art class and happy Wednesday. Today, find your spark with me as we draw number 22 from Soul. So as always, you're gonna need a pencil, paper and black line marker. And then today for colors, we'll be using blue, yellow and purple. All right guys, let's get in the zone. Hello and happy Wednesday. Today we're going to be drawing number 22 from the movie Soul. 22 is going to be in the middle of our paper and we're going to start at the top working our way down creating her whole body or as much of a body as she has. First we're going to start at the head. The head is going to be at the top middle and we're going to make an oval lightly. I say lightly because we're going to be adding to the shape and changing it up a little bit but I want to start with a sideways oval. Why don't you kind of lightly made an oval shape you like. Towards the top, we're gonna to give it kind of a curved line to give it just a little bit of a peak or a hill shape on the top. And once you have that done, you can erase where that meets your original oval. And this overall shape is gonna be the shape for 22's head. Now, under our arch shape is where we're going to build our face. The first thing we're going to do is put a couple circles for eyes. They are going to be right under that arch shape with a little bit of room in between. After I build my two circles, a little bit less than halfway, I'm going to make a line straight across, kind of giving an eyelid. Now my eyes are going to cut to the side, this side of my paper, which means I'm going to draw them not in the middle of her eye, but I'm going to draw two half circles to the side. This is going to make 22 look like she's looking over this way. And because of how we're going to do her eyebrows and her mouth, it's going to give her kind of a, a smirk or a, search, a certain facial expression. She doesn't have a nose. So we're going to skip some space and we're going to add our mouth. The mouth is going to start in the middle of one eyeball and go across to the other eyeball. And then we're going to make her teeth. I'm going to come down. I'm going to make a line across and I'm going to curve back up at almost to a point. After you have that, I'm going to come down and I'll make a line across again. This is the mouth under the teeth. So if it helps you, you can shade it in so you can tell that it's not another row of teeth and it's kind of different. The last two things we're going to do with the face area is we're going to add those eyebrows. Like I said, I'm going to curve one going one way. I'm going to curve the other going the other way. That's going to give us some more expression. And then I'm going to put some circles at the bottom of our cheeks. We'll color those in later to give more definition. So go ahead and draw those lightly. Now we have the overall shape for our face. We're going to make our body. In order to make our body, we're going to come down right, right under that the sides of the mouth. Or you can think about the middle of those eyes again. We're going to make two lines straight down and we're going to round to them we're just going to go curved line around to them and that's going to give us the basic shape of our body for our arms so we don't have feet so our arms are going to be our last body part we'll create i'm going to start up under the head where the head connects to the neck i'm going to come down and out and then I'm going to curve in, almost making like an L shape. When I get to the inside of L shape, I'm gonna curve around and kind of make a hand. That hand is going to curve up and then curve back to that side. So if I erase that line that was part of our body there, 
we can see it curve back, curve up to the side. Now we have that whole arm. Our other arm is going to come from under the head, go down past our first arm, and the hands are going to kind of cross. We make that L shape going the other way, or an angle shape going the other way, and then kind of cross. Awesome. Now, we are going to ink and color. And today for coloring, after I ink, I'm going to start with a light blue, and then I'm going to put a little bit of yellow over it. And then I'll add a little bit of blue afterwards, and that's going to give us an iridescent kind of look to give our character that look from the movie. Here we go. All right, guys, I'm all done. As you can see, by building up the layers of blue and yellow, gives it an iridescent look. And by putting that last layer of blue, I could add a little bit of shadow. Now, I know you guys are gonna make an awesome background, but for me, I'm gonna sign it, because I am done. Always sign your work, because you should be really proud of all the amazing stuff that you guys do. All right, class, we're all done. I had a great time drawing number 22 with you, and I can't wait to see you next time for more art class. Until then, be kind and creative, and have a great day.